Hello everyone, myself Bhindi Ravi, Associate Professor Luz Maga College of Science and Technology. Welcome to the session on integration of ICT in teaching and learning, a session on Moodle. In this session we will see how to add a quiz and how to add this questions into the quiz. So these are the steps that has to be followed. So let us switch on to this Moodle site. The first step is click on the site administration, then click on this courses, click on manage courses and categories, then this is the course which we have created, I am clicking on this model course and scroll down and you can click on this edit and we are not doing anything here so just save and display. You can see the course which we have created. Now to the session 1, I wanted to add a quiz. The procedure is click on add an activity or resource. You can see those options here and you can see this quiz here. So I am clicking on this quiz and then click on add. So a page will be appearing like this. You can give the name of this. I am giving it as this and you can uh, give any description uh, I am just giving it as 10 questions are there 10 questions will be there so what are information you want to do uh, put it here you can put it here so next to this click on this timing this opening date and closing date of the quiz, you can make changes according to your requirement. This is by default, it is starting today and ending on 20 December 21st. So, you can make these changes according to your requirement. And then Clicking on this grade, let it be uh, this default values. Attend it is unlimited attempts. If you want, you can give it as one attempt. Here it is, I am putting it as unlimited. And grading method highest grade, let it be the default one. So, in the layout, it is every question. So, the new page, that is, if you click on this, each question will be appearing on a new page. So I can select it as, I am selecting it as 10 questions will be appearing on one page. That is the layout I am choosing it. Then the question behavior, click on that. You can see this shuffle within the question. I wanted to be, uh, we wanted to shuffle that. So I am clicking on this S. And how the question be, uh, behave. Then you can select any one mode. So, I am just keeping this default one. Then, appearance it is no image, okay. Then, restrictions if you want to make any changes, you can do that here. I am just keeping all these default values. And then, I am clicking on this save and display. So, then you will be getting a page like this that is you can edit this quiz but I am not doing anything right now I am just going back to the Moodle course and see whether this quiz has been added or not so you can see that in the session 1 we have added this quiz so it is there then let us go back to the slide now how to add this questions now the procedure it is, you can see this, this is the procedure, we will be adding a question 1, so we will switch back to the Moodle side, you can click on this edit here, edit settings, click on, click on edit settings and this thing I don't want to make any changes, so let it be like that. Save and display. 
the same page will be appearing here. Now here you have to click on this edit quiz. That will give you a page like this. So you can see there is a provision for add. When you click on that you will be getting these three options. You can choose a question from the site itself which we already provided or you can add a new question. So I am going to add a new question. So click on new question. So different types of question patterns are there, multiple choice, matching type and short answer etc etc. I am preferring this multiple choice. So I am clicking on this multiple choice and click on add. So you can see the question is added. Now you can give this questions. Question name, I am putting it as Q1. Now question text. So this is the sample question I have prepared. What is the color of a parrot? And the option is green, black, peach and none of this. So I will provide the question text here. It is what is the color of a parrot? So the question is here. Next it is the default mark it is 1. Let it be 1. Now the feedback if you want to give any a clue or hint that you can provide it in this box. I am not providing anything right now. So here we can see one answer or multiple answer. It is only one answer. I am choosing only one answer. Now, shuffle the choice. It is already we have selected it as shuffle. Then, number of choice. It is the numbering of the choice. You can select any one of this. I am choosing it the default value ABC. Now, these are the choice. You can provide the choice here. Our choice one was green. So, I am providing it as green. And we know that the correct answer is green, so I feel it this 100 percentage mark here. That is, green is the right answer. Now, here in this feedback, if you want to uh, provide this answer, why this green is uh, the right answer, you can do clarifications here if you want. But I am not providing any clarification, so I am leaving that as blank. Now, the second choice I can provide it as black. That is not the right answer. So the answer it is grade it is none. The third column I am providing it as page. There also the answer is none. And the choice word it is none of the none of this. That is also it is grade is none. The fifth choice I am leaving blank. Now all this it is default, that will be default values and I am clicking on save changes. So you can see that the question is added here. Now if you want to another, add another question, again click on this add, add new question, again multiple choice and again click on add. You will get another page like this, there you can provide this question number 2, 2, 2 and the text. I will go back to the slide. This is the second question. It is what is the color of the sky? Pink, blue, white and yellow. What is the color of the sky? Of sky. So the answer is one. The mark is one. And the answer is only one. Then the shuffle. Then here it is ABC pattern. Here I am choosing it as the answers are it is pink, blue, white and yellow. Pink. So the answer is wrong. So it is none. Blue. So the answer is correct. That means we have to give here it is 100 percentage. Right answer. Then here. That is white. That is again wrong. And here it is yellow. 
that is again wrong. So the last option I am leaving it blank. So I am clicking on save changes. Now these two questions are added here. Now I wanted to go back to the code. So I am clicking on this model code. So you can see that this quiz is here. Now if you click on this quiz, you can see the questions. If you click on this attempt quiz now, you can see the questions are added here. You can attempt this question if you want to attempt. So I'll just go back to the model course. So all this activities are here. Now let us go back to the slides. We have seen how to add the questions to the quiz. Thank you.